Things first, introduce yourself, Coach. My name is John Klein. I'm the head men's and women's soccer coach at Columbia College in Columbia, Missouri. Double duty. Double it's duty, yeah. Like doing e both. Can't be too easy doing that, but nature of the NAIA game, I'd guess? I think nature of someone who loves soccer, you oh, know, yeah. just being on the field. I'd rather be on the field for four hours in a row than sitting at an office. So, well, uh, and we've got the girls out here in this, this afternoon, early afternoon. You'll have the boys later. Girls are going to train for a couple hours. Guys will come out, warm up, and start right after the girls. Okay, well, let, let's talk about the girls first. Uh, you had a pretty nice year last year. Congratulations are in order, right? Coach of the year, two years in a row. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, the girls won the conference the last two years. That so, conference uh, is the? AMC, American Midwest Conference. Okay. Uh, a lot of St. Louis, you know, St. Louis teams, Missouri Baptist, Harris Stowe, stretches all the way west to uh, Park University in Kansas City. Now we are got some teams down in Arkansas and over in Tennessee. So I think we're 12 or 13 teams now. That's a nice in the expansion. American. Lots yeah, it of, is a nice lots conference. Lots of competition there. How was how did it happen last year? You guys uh, did you dominate or was it tight no, race? I, I wouldn't say dominate. There's a lot of good teams in the conference, uh, both men and women. We're talking about girls right now. Uh, in fact, William Woods got us in the conference tournament. We won the regular season, which was an automatic bid to the national tournament. Um, but we were very balanced last year. Had a lot of you know a few goal scorers, a lot of good players. Uh, some quality midfielders, and, and really, I think we tend to be uh, strongest in, in the back and protecting our goal. Uh, and this year, I, I think, you know, I think we'll be very similar in terms of protecting our goal. We got a great returning keeper, Flavia Rosado, was an all-conference player in goal from Brazil. Uh, Mallory Page is a, will be our senior this year, uh, center back, all-conference player. Uh, she's been terrific for four years. Our captain. And also uh, another all-conference player on the right side, Taylor Hagenoff, played center back this year, but I think we're going to move her out wide right and let her push forward a little bit this year. You have to score goals to win games. Where's that going to come from? I, I think we're not certain where that's going to come from this year. We had uh, we lost a couple of quality players. Uh, Kelly Ross from um, Moberly, Missouri has graduated and moved on. She was our big goal scorer, scored the biggest goals for us. Tori Magaletta, who transferred to us a few years ago from Drury, uh, out of St. Louis, Missouri, St. Joseph's Academy. Yeah. She, she's graduated. Little out. sister's si at Mizzou. Sister goes to Mizzou. We're certainly going to miss Tori. So, you know, we're only two or three days into our training here, and uh, we have to see who's going to step up and score goals for us this year. Will you play in St. Louis against? Where, when we can do, I see you? you know, I, uh, generally, the, the schools that you could see us at would be Harris Stowe, Missouri Baptist, Lindenwood, Belleville on the other side of the of the river. Uh, off the top of my head, little, I'm not sure which ones, but I want to I, I say I want to say we probably I think we traveled to Mobap this year, right. and generally we play at CBC High School when we play them, and I th I do think we traveled to Harris Stowe. That's I think good. Belleville comes to us okay. this year. I'll look that up and include it in the story. How about the boys? How did how did things finish last year? The guys the guys are always a good group. You know, we got a nice mix of um, internationals and Missouri boys. Um, came in second to the conference to the newcomers, uh, Lindenwood Belleville. Brand new to the conference. Of course, Dan Hogan coached here at Columbia College years ago, and um, he's got a real strong group over there. So we had our opportunities to beat them at their place uh, mid-season last year. Wound up losing that game one to nothing. And in fact, they went on to win the conference. That, so that was uh, the difference. It that was, that like was a difference. Had we won the game, we would have won the conference. So, um, you know, but such quality conference: Park University, Hannibal Lagrange, uh, Lion out of Arkansas. You got Mobap and William Woods. So it's a real strong conference, and it's a conference that just doesn't quite get the respect it deserves across the country. Well, we'll see what we can do about getting some coverage for you this year. What about returning players? Who can we look to? You know, on the guys' side, we return uh, nine or ten starters, so we're feeling pretty good about the returning group. I, I think I look up top first to Vadim Koyakov and uh, Edin Kampara, looking for those guys to score some goals. Uh, he had a nice midfielder out of St. Louis, uh, Nick Powers, hoping he can step into the center of the midfield and bring an attacking presence there. Uh, we're, we're strong in the back, several all-conference players back there. Lakin Cady plays on a, you know, at an outside uh, defensive position from Sedalia. Corey McDonald from right here in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, has it will be a senior this year and has been uh, all-conference winner multiple times and then Matias Serra, big strong boy from Croatia so those guys are very strong in the back. Okay well that sounds like a lot of fun and I'll look forward to seeing you guys on the pitch this year. Alright thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks coach. Over.